Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome to another art journal layout featuring Stamperia products. For my background today, I will be using two shades of blue and uh, these are acrylic paints. I am going to add also a little bit of uh, white at the end. So I am going to apply my acrylic paints with my brush and uh, I have already gessoed my pages that I am going to be working on. I am applying uh, my paint horizontally and uh, sometimes I dip on the darker shade and other times I dip my brush on the lighter shade. I don't want to totally blend those two colors and I like those strokes on my pages. The idea is to create a kind of a sky for my background. The acrylic paints that I am using is from the Allegro collection and they are fluid acrylics. This makes them uh, really easy to apply and uh, very easy to blend. Now with my brush I am applying my white acrylic paint to make uh, some areas lighter and I am also going to create uh, clouds. All the colors that I am using as well as every other supply that I am using today will be listed just below in the description area on YouTube or you can go on my blog and you will find the full list of all the supplies that I am using. So once I'm happy with my background, I am going to go ahead and use my heat gun to speed up the drying process. And this is the final result. I am going to put that aside for now and I'm going to show you the stamp set and the two pattern papers that I will be using. So these are two pattern papers with wood grain uh, pattern that are from Stamperia. And I'm also going to be using these uh, stamps which are also by Stamperia and they are uh, really nice clocks in different sizes. I am going to stamp uh, the clocks on uh, the wood grain uh, pattern paper, the dark one, with uh, black ink. And uh, you will see that I don't uh, use an acrylic block because this is an art journal. I don't really uh, mind if uh, the stamp isn't, uh, if I don't have a perfect impression. But um, you need to check out how nicely they cling. I think that uh, they are the best quality I have ever had. And not only they are deep etched, but <laughs> they really cling uh, nicely everywhere. Now I am going to stamp all three clocks and uh, I love them because they are different sizes and uh, they also have different designs on them. And then I am going to go ahead and use my scissors and cut them out. And here is another Stamperia stamp with those angel wings which I am going to stamp with uh, black ink again. This time I am going to use another wood grain uh, pattern paper which is white. I like to use these pattern papers because they give a nice texture on my stamped images. So I'm going to stamp the wings uh, two times each and uh, I need those because I plan to add them on my clocks later on. Once I have all my images stamped, I am going to use my scissors and take my time to cut them out. Now I have everything cut out, all the wings and the clocks, and it's time to do some stenciling. For stenciling I'm using this white acrylic paint, which is from another Stamperia acrylic paints collection, and uh, it's not fluid, but it's rather thick. I prefer doing stenciling with thick acrylic paints because they do not go underneath the stencil, so I get uh, great results each time. A little goes a long way with this technique, so I'm just picking up a little bit of uh, paint with my sponge and dab it in different areas on my page, trying to create areas that look like uh, clouds. This is going to create uh, little dots and white areas on the background, so it is going to make it lighter and uh, more interesting. Of course you can have the exact same results plus three-dimensional look if you use a spatula and apply over the stencil in uh, different areas some embossing paste or modeling paste. Once everything is dry I am going to use my glue and stick everything down. I have decided where the clocks and the wings, the wings are going to go and I am going to use a transfer gel to stick everything down. Now of course you can use any type of glue and uh, although this uh, is uh, made actually for uh, transferring technique I find that it works great for sticking down uh, my collages and that's why I am using it. And once I stick everything down, then I am going to use this uh, transfer gel and go all over those uh, pages to cover everything. This is going to give a nice uh, finish. So I'm using my heat gun to speed up the drying process and I'm cutting out all the excess paper. 
I always like to have elements that uh, kind of uh, go outside of my page because this uh, creates kind of uh, an interesting uh, layout. Now that everything is nice and dry, I am going to show you how you can create shadows with any ink pad and uh, a sponge. The ink pad that I am using is by Stamperia and it is uh, slightly darker than the uh, blue color that I have for my background. The sponge that I am using is also by Stamperia and it has this diamond shape that gives you those nice edges so you can go easily all around the image. Notice that I don't really mind if I go over my images because uh, I can wipe them off and make them clean again with some baby wipe before my ink dries. Just because I have used uh, my transfer gel all over the images, now it's easier for me to clean them out. As you can see, I can smudge the ink with my finger if I want to or with a baby wipe. I'm adding uh, shading all around the clocks and uh, the wings on my layout and this is going to help uh, these elements to pop out of my background. To help the clocks pop even more against the background I am using my white gel pen and I'm going all around those three clocks on the edges. Notice that I'm not being very neat uh, since I don't want to have the perfect uh, outline of uh, the clocks. I rather sketch the lines. With a black marker I am drawing some uh, freehand lines around the edges of my layout which are going to create a border. Once I'm happy with those lines I am going to color the outside with black acrylic paint. This is going to create a frame for my art and I really believe that uh, creating frames around your layouts really help uh, the layout to pop even more and um, kind of brings everything together. To do this I am using a special kind of brush with an angle on uh, the brush tip which really helps me get on all those uh, little areas and um, I am using also black acrylic paint which is thick acrylic paint from uh, Stamperia and just as I said before you will find links to all the supplies that I am using just below in the description area. Now I am using my heat gun to speed up the drying process of the black acrylic paint and I really loved how this came out after making the border. So here I am using my white gel pen to go all around the edge and uh, while cleaning up the edges at the same time it helps uh, my main uh, theme to pop even more. These are wood veneer clock elements which are by Stamperia as well and I am going to color them with my black acrylic paint. I am going to add them on my page to embellish it and make it even more interesting and add a three dimensional element. Now although I really love uh, dimensional elements on my pages you need to know that uh, this might tend into a very bulky art journal if you keep adding uh, dimensional elements on each and every page but if you add on a few ones I really, it doesn't really matter. Now I am going to add uh, wood veneer letters also by Stamperia and uh, I am going to spell the word time. So I am going to color them black with my black acrylic paint as well and uh, now I am ready to stick everything on my page. So I am trying to decide where everything is going to go and then I am going to use my white glue and stick everything down.
Finally, I'm going to finish off my page by writing uh, the whole quote, which uh, is going to say, Time flies, make the most of it. I am using those black alphabet stickers by Stamperia and I am also going to stamp the date with my black ink. So that was the layout for today, I hope you had fun and got inspired and if you did don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel, here are some close up photos of my project. If you need more inspiration, here are two more art journal layouts where I have used Stamperia products. Click on any of the videos to watch it or if you are on a mobile device then you can find links to those videos just below in the description area or you can click the info card that just popped on your screen. Thank you all for watching!